Welcome back to a Vapor's Journey. Jason Hughes here at Xavier Penguin Studios, now powered by Move to Vapor. Uh, a while back, uh, I was asked to do a review video for you, and here it is, the long-awaited product of that effort. <laughs> I do again apologize, some things have come down in real life, so I haven't been able to cut those videos out nearly as fast as I wanted to. But a while back, my friends at Express Vapors in Highland, Illinois, asked me if I would be willing to do a review of a couple of their uh, dripping juice lines. And I was like, wow, juice review, that's, you know, that's kind of, that's going to be fun. Let's do it. So they sent me home with this grand little care package of various flavors. And admittedly, as a result of time, I don't have so many of those with me on hand to vape with you right now, but I took notes. So as I was going through these juices, I wanted to give you a real thorough review, tell you what my impressions were, and I, I had a few criteria that I decided to go down with. First of all, I did know, you know, the size of the bottle that I got, nicotine level, of course, you know, big deal. Um, how I felt about the thickness of the juice, um, because it, it seems to me that a thicker juice on a dripper sort of scenario seems to vape better. Uh, the thinner, higher PG uh, type of juice, is, it seems to cook off real quick and not necessarily give me uh, that impressive cloud chasing full vape experience that uh, some of us that are, you know, getting into the uh, RDAs, RDVs, all that sort of stuff uh, are looking for. So without further ado, let's talk vape. All right, so this video, I'm going to go ahead and cover the Lizard Nipples, that's right, Lizard Nipples, a uh, brand of uh, premium dripper juice. And I just wanted to talk real quick. Um, I had actually gone in because when I had picked up a uh, picked up a mod, I had gotten, you know, some juice. And when uh, I, I, I got the experience of this juice, I was like, okay, cool, this is good stuff. And I went, hey, you're that guy from St. Louis that does those vids, right? Went, mm, yeah. And they went, hey, let's do this. Went, cool. So one of the first ones that they gave me was called Crimson Moon by Lizard Nipples, and I actually still have just a bit of that left. Uh, I had recently started wanting to play with custardy type flavors, so this was right up my alley. This is very good stuff. Uh, it is a very, very thick juice, uh, which as you can see, just by shaking it on the bottle, it leaves a nice little curtain of juice on the inside of the bottle, which is a prime indicator to me that I'm dealing with some heavy set stuff, and that's awesome. Uh, the flavor profile, uh, is definitely a strawberry shortcake. Uh, I had a very creamy back end, which I was absolutely in love with. Uh, the very first vape, just pulling this right out, popping it in my dripper, my first vape experience, uh, I really felt that it had a very strong strawberry flavor. The strawberry carried through very well, which I was not expecting. I was expecting it to be kind of muted, uh, not very intense, you know, kind of one of those... Yeah, it's in there. Not the case. Good, good stuff. Uh, one of the things that I wasn't so thrilled about is I was expecting a good balance. Uh, the shortcake flavor, the creamy back end, uh, it was there, but I felt it was actually slightly overpowered by the strawberry. So somebody who's looking for a strawberry that isn't just a pure, like, candy strawberry flavor, this is going to be right up your alley. It was good stuff. Uh, one of the things that uh, I did note is I get a little tingle in the back of my throat. I was using a 10 mil bottle at zero milligram and vaping this, I felt like I still had a touch of nicotine. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it throat hit, but there was something there. There was something present that made me go, okay, I'm actually vaping something. This is, you know, this is definitely going to give me that vape experience uh, that, you know, somebody coming off tobacco that is interested in a cafe flavor, they're, they're going to get it. It's, it's going to work. Uh, <clears throat> just uh, for your information, the nicotine levels that they were carrying on this were 0, 3, 6, and 12, which I don't know how many people out there are actually doing the big cloud chasing thing. And from a new uh, cloud chaser perspective, one of the things I noticed is my typical regular e-cig with a 16 milligram of nicotine to the milliliter uh, level of nicotine, that was perfect. That was great coming off cigars. It was great coming off, you know, cigarettes that I didn't hardly touch. But because of the volume of cloud 
when you're doing the dripper type juices, you can cut back on that nicotine. Seriously. Uh, the pure volume, I mean, let, let's talk about, you know, something that I'm using here. This is a re recent acquisition. Uh, this is a, you know, rebuildable device that uh, I had gotten. And, yeah, what the heck, let's vape some right now. Let's load this little guy up. I mean, look at that juice. That is thick. I'm, I'm overwhelming it. It's not going off the side. So <laughs> that ought to tell you something right there. But with, uh, with a dripper type rig, Oh, wow, that's whistly. I misaligned my cap. What do you know about that? <laughs> Probably need some better air holes on this thing, too. But That is a thick cloud. That is seriously thick. That's not what you're going to get from, you know, your, your early starter kit. So realize that when you're going into dripping, you may not want to try and rock that ultra-high, well, I don't want to call it ultra high, but comparatively high nicotine level that you were when you were doing uh, when you were doing your regular vape. But uh, getting back to the juice here, great throat feel, great mouth feel. Uh, would have liked to have tasted just a little bit more of the shortcake on it. Is this a daily vape? Yes, not for me. Uh, and like I said, anybody who's into the just a strawberry flavor with a little bit of a sweet creamy back end. This is it. Bees knees. Vape's good. Cloud's good. Let's move on. All right. So, backing up a piece because I actually started a little further ahead than I meant to. Uh, pearl necklace. This was another uh, scenario where I wanted something that was going to give me a creamy custardy flavor. And while I think that I personally lean to you know the the vanilla custard kind of thing, this was right up that that was right up that decision this is a vanilla custard flavor uh i had gotten it in 10 milligram bottle three milligram nicotine uh definitely once again just like all the lizard nipple stuff very thick juice uh the flavor profile absolutely a vanilla custard the first vape it was very light on the tongue i was expecting a more potent and present custard flavor but it was very light, very subtle, not unpleasantly so. And as a matter of fact, having something that didn't feel, you know, thick and weighty and just coated my mouth in vanilla custard, don't go there, uh, vanilla custard or, you know, uh, a heavy sitting flavor was kind of refreshing. It, it made for a perfect daily style vape. I, ra I, I, I vaped this probably for, uh, I don't know, three days straight on that bottle. Uh, it was definitely a mild, I sensed the flavor kind of more in, in the nasal passage than I actually, you know, felt it on the tongue, which was kind of unusual. Um, some of those people that are, you know, coming off the cigarettes that do a lot of the French inhale or do the, you know, menthol, it's, it's a little less about the taste and more about the feel, uh, in, in the, in the nose and, you know, in, in the sinus cavity kind of thing. And I really, really, really liked it. There was no lingering aftertaste. The exhale was good. Um, the cream was present, not expressly potent. And that may be something that somebody into a lighter custard is going to enjoy. That was absolutely outstanding. Uh, I do recommend it. Of the uh, lizard nipples that I, I tried, it is definitely in my top three. Let's move on. <clears throat> uh... Well, actually, I did have a couple other uh, criteria, so let me backtrack a little bit. Is this something that I would chain vape? You know, just sit there and vape it all day. This is what I'm vaping. Yes, absolutely. Because it wasn't heavy in the mouth, I could, I could definitely keep going on that. And I would actually be inspired to because of how good and clean that vanilla flavor was. Good stuff. Uh, my subjective rating on this, I'd probably call it a 7.5 out of 10. Great cloud, little light on flavor for me, but uh, definitely good stuff. Definitely good stuff. I did not get a uh, head rush even when I was kind of hot boxing on the uh, on my mod. Uh, absolutely perfect thing. Uh, definitely had a nose of sweet cream. So when you're you know taking it out and you're doing your whiff, yeah, you definitely get that sweet cream. Uh, let's move on. Angry Dragon. Angry Dragon. I, I kind of snickered at this one. 
Of course, if you haven't figured out by now, there's kind of a theme with the lizard nipples names. Um, this one I sampled at 10 mil bottle, zero nick. Uh, juice thickness, once again, very high. Uh, it was kind of a cotton candy, fruit punch nose. Uh, they, they call it, uh, you know, kind of like a dragon fruit sort of thing, uh, obviously. Uh, it is a creamy dragon fr uh, fruit vape on there. Once again, flavor felt a little light to me. Uh, it did come through, though, and somebody who's looking for something to vape without overpowering the rest of their sensors, senses, absolutely. Uh, light, touch of the sweet fruit. I, I couldn't really discern it initially as dragon fruit, but then again, I'm not a big dragon fruit guy. I just went, oh, fruity, and it, that, that worked for me. Not knowing what it was initially uh, allowed me to kind of make up my own mind about it, which was awesome. Uh, I would love to get a little more punch out of the dragon fruit on that, but that could have been my rig. I might have been washing it out a little bit, too much airflow, but uh, definitely a good taste. Again, light in the mouth. Uh, definitely an all-day vape. I would say that uh, my, my subjective would be a 7.0 on this. It's hard to wow me with juice, so, you know, when I talk about, you know, something rated 1 through 10, uh, realize what I mean here. Uh, I did not catch uh, any kind of, uh, like, throat hit, of course, once again, doing zero nick, but with some of the other zero nick stuff, there, I got that little tickle in the back of my throat, probably from the flavoring. So just realize, very chill, very laid back, very light vape with great clouds, phenomenal clouds. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Uh, kind of give a thumbs up, uh, thumbs down. Uh, one of the things that I did want to touch base was surfing. I still have some of this. I don't even know what to think about this. This has been a truly unique vape experience. When I tested this at 10 mil zero nick, I couldn't put it down at first. It has a very berry colada kind of flavor to me. So having that, you know, uh, that muting factor of the, you know, colada aspect of the fruit colada. It's not, it's not exactly like a, uh, it's not exactly a pina colada. It's definitely a berry colada kind of thing. Very tropical, very, uh, very apt for summer. And I wish I could have gotten this review out while, you know, we were still in the, you know, mid summer months, but this was a very delicious vape, uh, juice thickness on this just as high as everything else, very high VG mix, and uh, I can't say enough good about it. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's take a little bit of that air on this guy. Because, yeah, that was just, that was good stuff. Good stuff. As you can see, phenomenal clouds coming off this stuff. Uh, the flavor is definitely there. This was one of the stronger flavors. I really enjoyed it. Uh, is this an all-day vape for me? Probably not so much, but this would be a great hanging out at the bar after dinner, uh, going out with friends vape. I can't say enough good stuff about the, the lizard nipple stuff. Uh, one more flavor that I got to review from them, which was a, another custard uh, called Jugs. And it's a combination of multiple uh, vanillas in order to create what I found was just a outstanding, well-rounded, good mouthfeel, present flavor, good nose. Uh, of my of the top three here, that is definitely number one. Jugs was outstanding. Uh, good juice thickness, great clouds, fantastic flavor. And I I can't say enough about it. So on that one, that one's definitely getting a 9 out of 10. It kept me coming back. It was my all-day vape until I ran out of it. And then I was sad. So, <laughs> so that ought to tell you. If you get the opportunity, look up Lizard Nipples. I know that a couple of shops have it. I know that Express Vapors and Island were the guys who hooked me up. And I really appreciate it. Again, I apologize about the delay in getting this review out. Uh, definitely check out Lizard Nipples. Yes, crazy name, crazy good vape. So, with that, I'll see you next time with another view, uh, review. 
this time of Uncle Mike's Elixirs. Have a good one.